Well, as we mentioned, visitation is happening right now for the iconic Belle Phillips. I sat down with a Milwaukee couple who worked closely with the former Secretary of State and saw her impact. Reverend Joseph L. Wanger and his wife Joyce worked closely with Belle Phillips on a number of social justice campaigns in Milwaukee. What is most remarkable for me is the way in which uh, she continued to work on not just housing issues, but all of the issues, education issues and others, uh, all through her life, right up to the time when she really wasn't able physically and mentally to do it. Belle was so small. You almost thought of her as fragile. When I would give her a hug, I always felt like, I have to be a little careful. I don't want to squeeze her too hard. But she was feisty. Belle Phillips served on all three branches of government. She was the first woman to sit on Milwaukee's Common Council. Back in 2007, she talked to me about early challenges. It was pressure, but I didn't feel it because, uh, you know, I was so new at it. In the 70s, Phillips became the first woman judge in Milwaukee County. And in 1978, Belle Phillips became the first African-American woman to be elected to statewide office as Secretary of State. She knew Dr. King personally. Now, how many people can say that Martin Luther King actually called them? <laughs> Belle Phillips left an indelible mark on Wisconsin and will be a touchstone for years to come. The Elwangers will miss her gentle spirit and... Her openness uh, and approachability. It's just being able to sit at the table and talk and laugh. She had a wonderful sense of humor. Now you can find details on how to make a donation in honor of Belle's life at TMJ4.com. A lot of people are remembering the wonderful things about her spirit. She was so many things yeah, for so many so people. So lovely.